Novelty neckwear. I expect you've all come across bow ties which revolve or squirt at you and things, and in my early magician's days I used to wear this one here. I've hardly worn it since then, but it's one which sort of lights up. So if you're ready, steady, let's go, go, go with the Novelty neckwear collection. All the other ones, incidentally, are ties, not bow ties. So the first one I've got over here is a charming idea. It looks like, I don't know, some fiery hieroglyphics, but the idea for this one here is I'm supposed to be preening myself in front of a mirror. When I do so, the hieroglyphics which are illegible become, oh yes, hello handsome, over and over again. Hello handsome, that's, that's nice, I like that, hello handsome. That's a good way to start. I have to find this tie I'm actually wearing is a little bit short, I must just, that's a better length, isn't it? I also received at Christmas time many years ago about three or four of these which light up and then play a little tune. Santa Claus. Flashing red eyes, that's a bit bizarre. Looks dangerous, he should be giving you lovely presents. But there we are. It plays a well-known Christmas song over and over again. Be down there. A film tie, which is a lovely idea because it's actually made from a real piece of film with a knot in it everywhere. Of course, it's one of the ones you can't actually tie, you have to put a neck thing on it. But what's a film of? Well, let's try highlighting it. Yes, it's a picture of our Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe. What would it be? Some like it hot or one of her famous films. Iconic. A wonderful thing to wear if you're going to a party with filmmakers. I'm still bothered about my tie's a bit short. There's another very clever one which is also optical, which when you hold it up like this, you can't see anything but more squiggles. Well, not written squiggles, but sort of um, designs and patterns. What's going on here? Well, if I'm looking down at an angle like this, I can see very clearly it's a very tasteful series of nudes. Very tastefully and tactfully done, so I'll hold it up and see if it's more visible like this. That's the view that I'm getting when I look down, but anyone looking straight at my tie doesn't see anything because the nudes are all upside down and so stretched out that they become almost impossible to see. <coughs> my tie. Yeah. Here's one for the city girl. A tie made of pearls. What a lovely idea. She can wear a pearl necklace and have a pearl tie. And this is beautiful. It's very flexible, runs beautifully on hand and wears very nicely around the neck. And even the necklace is made of pearls. <coughs> I not bothered about this tie, but there we are. There's a lot of ties out here which are just plastic uh, with a clip and just fit over your thing like that. Well, it's fair enough, but it's, there are a lot of these. And I've only got one of them in my collection, a fish tie, but they come in every size, shape and sort. And with plastic becoming so common, to, very easy to print them, they can make an extraordinary variety of designs. <coughs> a cough as well, but this is getting longer and longer. There's a very useful tie I got very early in my collection, which looks like it's a perfectly normal tie, except you realise there is here a very useful thing. There's a pocket halfway down where you can see a change in the pattern. So there you can keep a comb, or I can put my spectacles in like that. Very sensible idea. A pocket in a tie. That's really useful. I wonder why they don't make them anymore. <coughs> this is really going to bother me a bit. There's one here which is a kind of tassel. That's quite sweet. It's made by a Scottish lady, Fiona McKinnon, and at the bottom of it is a little, little tiny tassel. That's sweet, isn't it? A tasseled tie. <coughs> then there's small ties. This one goes round your neck. It's a really seriously small tie, but it fits quite nicely around the neck, in fact. And if I was just wearing that and not the other tie underneath, you'd see it clearly. And an even smaller tie, would you believe this one here? Look at that, a little diddly, diddly, diddly thing. If you've got a pretty white collar and nothing else, and you see this minute tie, you'd hardly know it was there. It just about covers the top button. <laughs> Talking about covering, there's... Oops. <coughs> there's a couple of covers here I've got of protecting ties, which is quite a good idea. This one, for instance, I can put over my tie in case I'm getting worried about it getting 
covered in mess from eating sloppily. And it looks like a tie. It's a napkin with a tie cover over it. That's a nice idea. And another one which I've got to repair this properly, but it sits on top of the tie here like a tie pin. And when you're ready to use it, you've got to pull the thing out. And with a bit of luck, it comes all the way out like this. It covers, it covers your tie with a plastic cover. And it's washable, of course. And it should retract, but I need to attend to that. And one of the ones which I haven't used for years and years and years is this one here, which is a kind of device which I think Ellison's catalogue in the 50s had this. You had to attach it to your, your top button, and when you pull the thing, it made the tie flip up and down and wave. But I never got it working properly, so all I can do is demonstrate what it might have been like, a waving thing. Extraordinary. As for this tie here, well, this is just ridiculous. I think I'm going to have to... <coughs> Turn it into a scarf. Look for neckwear.